What's up guys, Johnny here back with more Shadowgun Legends. In today's video, we look at the Wintermute SMG, brand new legendary SMG. Wintermute is one of the four new legendaries added in the game in 080 update. It is possibly the best new legendary of all four and most likely the best legendary SMG in the game. I'm not a big SMG player myself, but of all four, I feel probably Wintermute is the one that will see the most action in the game. Just a quick look at the stats. The Winter Mute damage per bullet is the highest of all legendary SMGs. It's got the second highest fire rate, but everything else is gonna be the downside. Uh, it's the lowest accuracy and shorter range. Uh, before the addition of Winter Mute, Plasma Blaster for most of the community was the best legendary smg in the game some guys say best smg in the game because it's a legendary and for pvp legendaries have a little extra buff stats buff so because it deals the most damage per bullet it's a weapon of choice for pvp i guess uh the fire rate's pretty decent but kira higher fire rate but less damage so because of that i'm thinking winter mule might be the new best legendary smg for pvp but like i said the downside is the accuracy it could be a problem but if you go get accuracy on your gear and on your skill tree it might make up for it a little bit and the clip size is pretty big at 35. usually smgs have a lot of bullets in the clip so you don't really have to go get more and if you have on your pants it's already more than enough you don't need to go get more on your skill tree you can get accuracy and a lot of survivability so today we're gonna do some duels i switched my skill tree back to 839 it's a very nice pvp skill tree the 9 in survival is awesome because you got the explosion resistance 25 percent so against grenades and rocket launcher it's really really good you also have projectile resistance with 9 survival it is only five percent but it stacks with your gear and if you go get the buff before the game in the bar now white three in combat usually in pve i don't care about accuracy but in pvp if you're gonna use smg three combat will give you 15 accuracy now with only one point in combat you get the extra eight percent damage when aiming down sight with eight agility you get all the mobility skills that you need including reload while sprinting so we'll go try the winter mute today in duels my secondary will be the best here rocket launcher and the new pistol spectrum i'm using three pieces of legendary gear and i will go with the damage gloves eight percent plus one and some melee resistance so i'll go grab some buffs and we're ready to go all right first duel of the day versus shadow 4 s j n n t or something he's going left yeah this is a kill so i heard they changed the jungle map but not so sure what they did because I rarely do duels, but let's see if we can see the the yeah, he spawn. Oh really? What? Oof! What? What happened? All right. So, anyways, if you play jungle and you get the kill, you can go on top and you should see your opponent respawn. So if he goes in the middle, uh, you don't want to fight from long range, right? Oof. So if he goes in the middle, uh, you're gonna get the first shot, but usually you should go on, like, don't go in the middle, right? I'm not an expert, but going in the middle, maybe not the best decision, dude. Gotta be a kill. Alright, so this time... It went in the middle, but decided it was not so much a good idea. But let's see. There you go. Sentry. Good decision. Oh, come on, dude. Yeah, okay. So it's a win. First game of the day is a win. We're gonna go for another one, of course. But yeah, like if you know the SMGs got the shortest range of all SMGs, legendary SMGs, you try to get close, right? You don't want to fight from long range, especially if your opponent's got an AR. Right, Richard Double X. This guy roll. I played with or against, and he's a pretty badass PvP guy, right? He's left. Ooh. 
Ooh. I think I had some good damage in there though. Yeah, I got the kill. Yeah, definitely an AR guy with uh, Faraday, right? So your chance with Faraday is, of course, don't fight from a distance because they got range. But also, like, you hope that they will miss because they don't have a lot of ammo, right? Oof. That was really close. You don't want to fight from long range. Oof. Super, super close. Got the headshot there, though. Three to one, we have a chance. Could have used deflector, but probably has it also. But maybe not. Maybe he doesn't play it. Heads will roll. Three to two. Grenade, of course. He reloads. Oof! No! Oh my god, I missed! That was so freaking close. I lost my lead, guys. So freaking close. Yeah, baby. Four to three. Three HP. Man, this is so sick. So, I got Deflector. I don't know what he plays. Maybe he's uh, smart enough to... Yeah, that's what you don't want. Close the distance. Oof! So he doesn't have deflector. Wow, GG, bro. Freaking crazy game. So again, I'm not a PvP expert, but SMG versus AR, you try to close the gap. You don't want to fight from a distance because they got the edge, right? And especially with Winter Mute, you want to be close. You got low accuracy and low range. Now, second thing is you want to get the first hit in PvP 1v1, right? So if you get hit first, you don't go and expose yourself. You try to recover or get the first shot. Right, last game of the day, guys, is Gulag. I don't know the guy, but he's playing an SMG. I think he's playing the new SMG from the Valentine event. Let's see if he goes for his bucks. I usually skip my bucks. I don't know, man, if it's the right decision. If you guys are PvP experts... Oh, he exposed the back. Yeah. If you guys are PvP experts, tell me what you do at the start of the game with your box. Do you grab it real quick? To prevent your opponent from grabbing it or you just rush his spawn he's going for the box so it could be rocket launcher right bruh he's kept yeah there you go wow the lag i don't know if it's lag or if he blinked me or if you rocket me and I got knocked back because of the rocket. But I can do this too. Like if you use rocket, I can use rocket also. That was a bad decision. Oof. I don't think I deserve that kill. I improvised, dude. I knew I, de I dealt some damage with the rocket. I wanted to finish with the pistol. N not a reload. Just switch to the SMG, right? 
I got a feeling he plays Blink. Right there. Yeah. So, four, nothing. It should be a win, guys. Three in a row for another uh, hot streak ribbon, I think. It's gonna be my sixth or seventh. I mean, I cannot lose, right? At this point, I'll be super disappointed. Still got. Yeah, he got. He gave me the back. I got like three fat thirty-fives in the back or something. So watching the replay, I guess, guys, three in a row again. Did I get the ribbon? Let's check my medals and ribbons. So I got six hot streak ribbons now. I need four more. So that was the winner mute SMG. Uh, I'm not a big SMG guy, but so far it feels pretty good. Uh, although it's the least accurate of all legendary SMGs. It's got the highest damage of them all and the second highest fire rate. So it's pretty good. Fire rate is good in PvP. That's what I learned when I start playing. Uh, the highest fire rate is going to help you hit your shots when the target is moving, of course. I guess I got lucky with my matchups. I got two out of three easy opponents. Uh, the second one was pretty tough. It was very, very close. So let me know in the comments how you like the Winter Mute. Uh, it drops in Voltaic Fist, by the way, if you're looking for it. Um, and it's not that rare now. It's easy to drop legendaries in these dungeons. Voltaic Fist, pretty quick dungeon and pretty easy also. So you can get that pretty easy. But thank you guys for watching. Hope you like the PvP action. Hit the like if you enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a comment. Subscribe to the channel for more Shadowgun Legends news, gameplay, and guides. I will be back soon. Till then, watch my other videos. Take care.